Hey YouTubers, Dizzy here with another XCOM 2 video for you. Today I'm going to be looking at how to get the XCOM 2 SDK and set it up so you can start creating mods using it, the Software Development Kit SDK. The reason you want to do this is so you can actually feature your mods on the workshop if you so choose to and to properly integrate your mods with existing mods that you've already downloaded and, and all that fun stuff. So this is the first video of the series that's going to deal with how to get the SDK and set it up. And then the videos after this will go into some more detail on, on how to actually create the mods. So if you haven't done so already, head over to your Steam library. And when you select library, you'll have a drop down and select tools. Let's go all the way to the bottom and select XCOM 2 development tools. This is a 42 gigabyte download. So go ahead and get that going and come back to this video after you're done or wait, pause the video, whatever you want to do. And I'll just go from the part where it's already downloaded. So the next step would be to go to the actual S SDK, which I have on my E drive. Let me just show you that. So I go Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, just like you would find the actual game files, SDK. And then here, we go into binaries. So XCOM 2 SDK binaries, redist. And then you want to install both these applications, the Unreal Engine 3 redist and then the VS ISO shell. So get that going. And this is after you've already installed the SDK. So this is be in that folder and then pause the video again, to make sure you get those on and applied. These are part of the quick, quick start instructions in the documentation for this. It's pretty easy to find and pretty easy to follow. And you will have to get this done before you start making any mods. Now, once you get those all installed, go ahead and get open the mod, uh, the SDK up. So you'll find it in your library under tools and just double click on that running tool. It'll say installed. Mine's already running and it'll pop up a window that looks like this. My XCOM mod buddy. So now you have the SDK running. And this is wrapped up in a Visual Studio type application. If you ever worked with Visual Studio in the past, awesome, you're gonna be very comfortable here. And I think you will too. So what we're gonna do first, as this being the startup, we just wanna make sure that everything in the first time setup is done correctly so we have everything going. You have the Redis installed, you have the SDK installed and running, and then we need to, need to finish out some things in the tools section. So you're gonna click on tools right here. And I know you can't see my drop down, but there will be an options line and you wanna click on options and it'll open up a window that looks like this. In this window, you wanna head down to the XCOM 2 line and select it and there'll be two paths here, XCOM 2 install path and XCOM 2 user path. These will be empty on your first time installing the SDK and you're going to hit these three dots and navigate to your XCOM installation, the actual game installation for the install path. So mine again is on the E drive. And then on the E drive, I found my steam library. You might have yours in program files. This is where the game is located. You're going to steam library, steam apps, common, and then locate your game file, which is just SCOM, XCOM 2, and then select XCOM game. And then it shows up there. And the user path is where your XCOM 2 SDK is located. So it's gonna be in the same folder if you installed it to the same drive as your XCOM game. So again, for me, it's Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then right below my XCOM game, XCOM 2, there's XCOM 2 SDK, and you'll open that up and select XCOM game. One last thing before we close out here is you wanna to go to projects and solutions and ensure that 
these two options here, MS build project, build output and MS build, build log file. These two are set to normal because they are originally set to minimal. And if you are noticing that your SDK is a light color, like a white, that option's an environment. And you could change to blue, which will make it look like this. Or if you go back to tools options, you could change it to dark, which is what I have mine set to because I like to not torture my eyes when I'm doing this. And that, those things we just did conclude the first time setup of the SDK. They're recommended by the Fire Access team in downloading the SDK. You can actually find this documentation. I'll show you where that is. You can find this documentation in the XCOM 2 SDK folder documentation as well as other documentation and content and tech, but in that quick start PDF. And once you have the things we went over installed, you are ready to start making XCOM 2 mods. So once you have all those options set up, go ahead and click OK, and you'll be ready to start creating mods for your XCOM 2 game with higher integrity and they will be available on the workshop and you'll be able to test it through the workshop screen and actually load it in the game. These mods are different than the INIs because this actually is made with the same tools that the guys at Fire Access did. Modifying the INIs is convenient and way easier and it doesn't involve a 42 gigabyte download, but it also is less apparent of how to do th certain things in the game and you don't have everything quite accessible to you. To make some of the skill and character edits, including creating new classes or adding weapons to the game, the SDK is going to be the preferred route of doing so because you'll have access to files that are wrapped up in the image folders and some of the other areas that won't be readily available to you because they're not just in the INIs. So you definitely want to pull this down if you want to make some more serious modifications to XCOM 2. And the next video will go into how you can actually start creating these mods and how to test it in the game. And we'll go into more detail on that. This one was just to get you guys started, get the SDK downloaded, and give you what give you information on what you need to be able to start making these mods. So follow up into the next video of the series. I'm Dizzy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on new additions to this series, as well as videos on what's going on in the XCOM 2 world as the coming weeks come out and new mods surface. So thanks again for watching. Peace out.